Welcome everyone to Neverwinter on PC. My name is Reiner and today I'm releasing a pocket wiki for Mod 16. If you enjoyed this video please leave a like and if you would like to see more information or videos about Neverwinter hit the subscribe button. So um, yes I've been messing around a bit with intros and I made something. Uh, not sure I'm happy yet but let me know what you guys think of it. Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to change it at some point. Uh, it's, it's just a first test. Anyhow, uh, the what now? Uh, pocket wiki. Uh, you guys already have received some of the overviews ahead of time just to get the info out there ASAP because we all know what happens to the auction house once a mod comes to preview. But yeah, now I have consolidated it all in one big sheet and added more. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through it. So as always, uh, we have multiple tabs and the first tab you probably will see it uh, when you open the sheet, it's the readme tab. Here are all the tabs. Uh, I have a standard format for this one now and so it's nothing really new. Uh, as always I added a change tracker in here as well uh, because change tracking is extremely useful like for example for this video and uh, let's walk through this change log first uh, because this is something you all can read for yourselves. Uh, so first of all um, this data in this sheet is based on a patch level. Um, currently patches bring lots of changes and things change super quick so I've just added here which uh, patch this um, data is based on. So I added to this wiki an overview of the new items and collectibles in mod 16. We will jump to the overviews in a minute. So these are all the new things in mod 16. I added an overview of optimal stats in mod 16. I added two overviews of companions and sharp edge to help me with the pivot table stuff. Um, very useful for being able to sort and uh, yeah, filter in your companions overview. I'm not sure it works in Google Docs, I hope so. Otherwise I will make a standalone version available. I also added an overview of companion skills it should say. Uh, so these are the skills that your companions will use in combat. It's not yet up to date because this is a lot of work. Um, I also added an overview of all the artifacts and their stats at max quality. Some artifacts go to epic, most go to mythic um, and these are the stats at max and there's a lot of bugs here at the moment. Uh, I added an overview of all the mounts and their stats in mod 16. So um, a lot of mounts have changed statistics in mod 16 like legendaries that don't give movement anymore or recovery because it has been removed. What does it give now? You can see that in this overview. I also added an overview of all the insignia bonuses. We have I have released this before. I have did a, another uh, check for the latest patch to see whether this is up to date. I had an overview of all insignias with their values at legendary, uh, also something we saw before. Enchantments at rank 15, also something we saw before. Weapon enchantments at rank 14, I made an overview for that as well. Armor enchantments at rank 14, same thing. And the overview of all runestones at rank 15, we also have seen that before. I have also a list of things that I still want to do. Um, if you are missing something and you want me to add another overview, let me know what you're missing uh, and I will see if I can add that to this wiki. So the things that I still want to add is an overview of reagents needed per upgrade. Um, so for all the enchantments and uh, weapon enchantments, armor enchantments, maybe also insignias, just to make an overview what are the upgrades requirements for each step. Uh, then the companion skills as I said is not up to date uh, but this is going to be a lot of work. Uh, the companion player powers uh, have been out there for a while now. Um, yeah, 
So the, these have been out there for a while. A lot of people liked uh, this overview and they have been giving me information. So thank you all for that. Uh, it's still not up to date. We have two overviews now and we will get there in a moment. Um, but yeah, it's still not up to date and still a lot of things are changing here and things are still, um, yeah, not, not all are working. So at the last patch made some big improvements here for the campaigns, but it's still, some things are still OP. Uh, and I want to add an overview of all the new gear in mod 16 for all the classes. Uh, I was already starting with that, but it's not finished yet. Uh, so not in this overview, I also added a uh, sheet here or a page with additional bugs. So these are just bugs that I uh, put in here to keep track for myself uh, these are bugs that are still in the game This is also feedback for the devs. I'm also going to give this sheet explicitly to the developers So they can see what's wrong with the game uh, If you have read this in the meantime, I also color-coded some things that I just bugged or seem to be OP uh, compared to other things so Red and orange things need to be checked. Uh, orange is also used for legendary, but if there's text that explicitly is orange, the devs probably need to take a look at that. So we're still testing. Um, then the uh, list of new items. Uh, there's this, These are the new um, slotables or the new collectibles, you can say. Uh, I didn't put all the gear in here because if you add the gear, it's gonna be a very long list. So uh, just, very quick a couple of items that are new. I also made an overview of the optimal stats uh, for each level. Uh, so at level 70 you need these statistics and if you level up you will get to level 80 where these statistics are important. And in Lair of the Mad Mage uh, recently I heard that you have to uh, the enemies are at a rating of 32,000 which means that you need higher um, statistics. Uh, there's also some information about this and prior priorities. Basically, you need to go here from left to right in order to have the best benefit. And you can basically stop after the third step and then stack power um, instead of the rest if you want to do maximum damage. Then the companions overview. This one is very uh, clear and you guys already know it. I did add some stuff here already. Um, it should be finished further, I guess, um, but it's not done yet. There are still gaps uh, with companions that I just don't have or didn't upgrade yet. It's a lot of work. Um, we are also made, uh, so this is the one that Sharp uh, helped me with, uh, a, an overview here in the shape of a pivot table. For some reason, this is black here. Let me fix that real quick. Uh, the text needs to be white. Okay. You should be able to also filter here. So can I delete everything and select Epic, for example? Yeah. So here you can see all the stats at Epic. Select everything or you want to know what can I put in defense. Uh, delete everything at select defense things. Okay. And then you can see what you can slot in defense. So this is another way to view. It's easier to um, filter. It's easier to search like this. So um, yeah, you can just choose which one of the two overviews you like. Then the companion skills overview. Uh, this one I just stole from the wiki, to be honest. Uh, and a lot of things are changing here but I did not update this yet. This is just something that, uh, yeah, needs to get an update. I know the Moonbeam power, this one, for the Priestess of Saiyanin Moonbow, uh, this one is already changed. This was very strong uh, because it gave you 40% um, critical chance. Yeah, 40% critical chance. Uh, no, Re uh, reduce critical chance for enemies by 40% and for allies and yourself, you get 20% uh, critical chance, which is just extremely strong. You don't have to uh, stack crit anymore if you have this. 
So this is already changed, as I said, and yeah, the rest uh, still work to do. Next up, artifacts. As I said, <laughs> there's a lot of uh, things not okay here, a lot of red, uh, but here you can see all the new statistics that we currently have. Um, what um, statistics you get from it and what powers we have now. Uh, all artifacts are in here, also the new ones, so the uh, Blood Crystal Raven Skulls are new, I think... No, it's not. Uh, the... let me see which one is new. The... Where is it? Trobriant's Ring is new, I know that one. Uh, the Wyvern Venom Coated Knives is new, and there's three more that I accidentally skipped over. Uh, but anyway, we have this overview now as well, and it should have all of the artifacts in it. Next up, the mounts. Um, nicely sorted by quality. Also, quite a few things are still broken here. Some mounts give a lot of damage, some just zero. Uh, combat powers, that is. And here you can also see your new equip powers as well as your um, insignias and quality all uh, color coded as well and nicely sorted uh, next up the insignia bonus is also something that i've released uh, before i removed the old description let me remove this here as well uh, this is just a description so there are a couple things in here that are just too much, uh, getting 200% of your arm penetration and defense for 10 seconds and it can stack up to 5 times, that's just broken. Uh, I don't know if it really works like this, but at least the tooltip is broken. 2500% combat advantage damage, yeah. Uh, so these things need to be looked at uh, and fixed. But yeah, this overview we also have in here. Next up, the insignias, also something we've seen before, so we don't have to walk, uh, look at this too much. The enchantments, I think I added something in here. It's the assassin's enchantment wasn't in the other one. Tenebrous, I think this one I also added. I don't know why it wasn't in there. Tactical, not sure if it was in my previous version. But it should have all the enchantments now. Next up, the weapon enchantments. This was asked before, so now we have an overview of all the weapon enchantments at max rank, rank 14. Uh, and what they do. A couple uh, seem to be 10 times lower than intended, I think. Doesn't look right, uh, so they need to be fixed. Other stuff looks correct, the values at least. I don't know if they're good or bad, that's not in here. This is just data, what the tooltip says. Arm and Cham is basically the same thing. Um, all the tooltips, negation, and this has been like this for a while now, but it states a very, very low percentage increase per stack. Uh, even if it stacks 10 times, that's just 0.2%. That can't be right. I think negation is, I think it, this is just a tooltip problem, but I'm not 100% sure. Next up, the rune stones. Um, this also was an OV that I had, but enigmatic rune stones have been added here. I found this runestone in my live stream recently. So yeah, this is now also added here. It fills in the gaps for combat advantage and critical resist. So it's a logical thing that we got a new one there. And the last one is just raw data. So we don't have to look at that. So um, I'm going to leave a link to this Google Docs sheet for now uh, in the description. So that was the thing. If you want to have an offline version, just like the master worksheet and stuff, uh, let me know in the comments. I can upload it to my Patreon and you can also download it there. Uh, but for now, I haven't done that yet. If you have any remarks on this video or any suggestions on what to investigate next, feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.